Now to the election. Corpus Christi residents who head to the polls between now and Election Day will see more than just names on the ballot. There are also three propositions being offered as part of the city's Bond 2020 program. And a new member of our staff, Mike Gillespie, has a preview. 2020 is a program that, according to the city's website, does not require an increase in the property tax rate and highlights projects that would impact each of the city's five council districts. Proposition A calls for $61 million to address 22 different street projects. Two of the largest include $6.3 million for work on Alameda Street from Texan Trail to Chamberlain and another $4.8 million for Rodfield Road from Yorktown to Adler. Now, in some cases, these projects will also address sidewalks, gutters, and streetlights. That may mean utility work, which could increase your utility bill, but not before 2022. Moving down the list, we come to Proposition B. If approved, it would fund 18 different park projects across the city to the tune of $12 million. That means three to four parks in each district will have the playground equipment replaced and shade structures installed at a cost of about $250,000 per park. The exception is in District 3, where Salinas Park is already slated to receive $1 million in grant funding for park improvements. The final eight and a half million in this proposition would include four items, money to help the Texas State Aquarium build a new center for wildlife rescue and research, money for new restrooms and a renovated parking lot at North Beach, the design of a new swimming pool at Bill Witt Park, and at West Guth, a skate park, picnic areas, and barbecue pits. And finally, Proposition C, two items here under the heading of public safety. In the first, city leaders would like to acquire land and design a replacement for fire station number three. Now, that's the one on Morgan Street, a facility which they agree is antiquated. In the second, money would be used to design a new complex for our police training academy with the intention of perhaps one day relocating it to the city's south side. Keep in mind that voters will be able to say yes or no to each of the bond propositions apart from the others. Mike Gillespie, 3 News.